Hola, it's Jessica here, and I'm going to show you how I made a custom gold leaf art piece for my daughter's nursery. I do want to let you know that this footage is a little bit dated. In the footage, I am eight months pregnant, and this is my daughter today as I'm filming the intro. Oh, she's so crazy. <laughs> Who are you talking to? <laughs> say hi. Can you say hi? In the video, you will also see my friend Sarah. Big shout out to Sarah. Thank you so much for helping me. I really do appreciate it. My daughter's nursery, her theme, I went with a love heart theme with a white, gold, and hot pink color scheme. I also wanted it to kind of represent us and be an actual art piece. It doesn't show you on the footage, however, the large heart is supposed to be very symmetrical and sturdy, and that's representing my husband, and he's kind of the protector of the two hearts inside. Then we freehand drew the center heart, which is gonna be the white heart you see, and that's supposed to represent me and how it's not symmetrical, and it's a little off. Once the right side's supposed to represent like the woman's body, Body and the left side like the stomach of the woman and carrying the baby the center smallest heart is going to be symmetrical as in representing a reflection of her father and just being a little off center as a reflection of her mother being a little off <laughs> we used the poster board because we really wanted a very symmetrical large heart and we wanted a very symmetrical small heart what we did was we laid down tape so that we can mark the center line and if you notice it's in a diagonal so it's a diamond shape and not a square shape when hung once we drew out our symmetrical heart the size we wanted we cut it out of the poster board and then we lined up the poster board center to the center line and we marked the two points on the inner heart and the bottom of the heart and then we lightly traced around the heart. We flipped over the poster board and we lined it up on the center line again, matching the two points and then traced it lightly again. And make sure you're tracing lightly because you're gonna have to erase. So take a look at your art piece at this point and make any adjustments on your drawing. At this point is when you would actually remove that center tape and connect the lines. We then, which is funny, is erased as much as we possibly could of what we just did and you want to erase the lines you made but still know where the lines are so it's a really fine line and we did this because we didn't want to see pencil marks in the finished product so make sure you wipe off all the excess eraser probably go over with a dry towel just to make sure that there's nothing there because you're going to be gluing now begin the fun part which is taping which took us some time a little trick is because i didn't want to worry about the canvas being pulled up by the tape if it's sticky so you just rub or tape the tape to your clothing and then it'll pick up like fiber from your clothing so then this uh, tape is no longer as sticky as it was when you unrolled it. And then we cut little pieces from that tape and we just taped along the heart. So a big mess up that we did, we ended up gluing the whole project like mod podging all the areas we wanted to glue on and then letting it get tacky and then we tried to go in and lay the cold leaf down but it had already dried before we got to most of the area so definitely lesson learned and work in smaller sections so when you uh, brush the mod podge down you want to give it uh, some a few seconds to tacky up so I think like 30 seconds is good depending on the weather um, and then you're gonna lay the gold leaf down and the gold leaf is only gonna stick to the areas that you have Mod Podge. You lay the gold leaf paper on top and then using a dry brush I press down the gold leaf. When you're working in small sections make your way around your art project and then when you come back to the original spot uh, it should have enough time to have like dried a little bit that you're gonna see where the gold leaf is lifting up or didn't glue down and you can re-glue like another layer of glue and lay your gold leaf down again. You can brush off excess gold leaf before untaping and once you've achieved your desired coverage then you can remove the tape. Now some of the tape might need a little assistance and I say this a little because you don't want to cut into your canvas so I use a really cheap pair of scissors and I was just kind of scoring the seam 
but not actually cutting the seam and that would help break the seal the Mod Podge had on the tape. Give your project a good brushing before you seal the entire project. And a warning, <laughs> the glue can become overwhelming because it's a lot of glue as you're doing this last step of sealing the entire project. So just make sure you take a break, let the room air out, and you can go back to it. So you want to mod podge the entire canvas, and that's just going to put a protective seal on the entire thing. I let this project dry on the table for about an hour before I hung it up and allowed it to cure. The only reason I hung it up was because we did not get any Mod Podge on the back of the canvas, so I knew it would not have a chance of sticking to the wall. And it was in an empty room since she wasn't born, so it really was allowed to cure on its own without anyone having to deal with like the glue fumes. Say hi, Mama. Welcome to my room. Digger. All right, so I just showed you her nursery and I had to put her down for her nap because she got a little wild. But thank you for watching. I really appreciate that. Please subscribe, like, share, comment. Thank you so much, and I hope I inspired you to do your own project. God bless. We'll see you next time. I do. I took two minutes away from you. Now I have to nah. clean your face, wipe your butt, and vacuum to make this video. Say bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye, Yeah, good girl. Baby, <laughs> I'll clean you right now. Bye.